Hi, welcome to Analytics 12. Today's lesson, we're going to be working on SQL, something called rollback and commit. This may be the single most important code for you to learn. What this will allow you to do is undo a mistake in SQL. If you've ever made a boneheaded move in a production server, you know how terrifying it can be. I once deleted a table out of a production server, and I thought I was going to lose my job over this. Luckily, I was able to recover from a backup, but it, I mean, it took a good part of my entire morning out over just one stupid mistake when I could have resolved it with a couple with a line of code. Uh, now, as with all my lessons here, I've got a write-up on my website here, Analytics for All. Org. I'll put a link down in the description so you can go to it and check it out. But let's go ahead right now. Let's get into the code. Okay, I'm using MySQL here. I, I like it. I recommend it because it's it's easy, quick to load, comes with some good tools, and it's free. And it plays nice on any platform. I'm using Windows myself, uh, but if you got Mac, it plays well on there. If you got Linux, it works well on there. It's it's not like some of the other ones that you know don't load well on other systems. So the uh, MySQL, I'm using the MySQL Workbench. You can use any tool you want. This is just my preference. Uh, now, we're using a tape database I built called DBTest. The first line should always be, let you know what database we're looking at. We're using a table called Employee. We're just going to look at it really fast. Let's go ahead and see what we got. And we have, let me bring this up so you can see better. We've got four employees, Ben, Phil, Christine, Frank. Okay. So if I do this, if I were to go say delete, if I could type it better, delete employee or delete from employee, where employee now equals Frank. If I ran this code, Frank's gone. I'm never getting them back. There's no way to recover it. It's over unless I go find a backup somewhere and restore the backup. Uh, but watch what this happens. Now, I just add a line of code here called, let's move this down just a tear. I'm going to add a line. We're going to call this start transaction, okay, with the semicolon, and you run these together, okay? Now, when I run this, I go to select from employee, and I get it. Look, Frank's gone, but this is where the lifesaver comes in rollback okay run this and he's there okay now i do this between anything it's just at one line of code in the front you run your code if you like it you can instead of rollback you can type commit if you type commit it'll stay and once you hit commit there's no going back you can't roll back after that but always run this you know Start transaction, run your code, take a look at it, say, hey, is that what I want? Yes, yeah, what I want. Frank's gone. Everybody else is still there. I didn't accidentally delete everyone. And now I'm going to hit commit with commit. Now when I run this, it's there. And you'll notice I can't run rollback anymore because I just committed it. So I rolled back, but it's not going to do anything. See, still no Frank. Keep in mind, you cannot use rollback if you don't start with start transactions. So always just, this is just a safety. It's two words before you run the code. Run your code. If it looks good, commit. You're good to go. This extra second you do is going to save you so many headaches. All right? Okay. Again, thanks for watching. Please visit my website, analyticsforall.org. I'm going to drop a link down in the description. Also, if you hit the like button, subscribe, and maybe leave some comments, let me know what you'd like me to work on next. Again, this is Ben Larson with Analytics for All. Thank you very much.